Hey, what is up, Phone Dog viewers? Bo HD here, and this is essentially the little brother of the Blue 5C HD smartphone I unboxed not too long ago, as it packs similar specs for even a cheaper price tag, such as a 4.7 inch IPS display, a micro SD card slot for expandable storage, 4G HSPA, a 1.3 GHz quad core processor with 1 GB of RAM and it too runs stock Android 4.4 KitKat out of the box. So if we go ahead and open this guy up to see what all is included in the box by first removing the two stickers on either sides of the box, we'll see the Blue Studio C Mini sitting right on top. And by first impressions, it looks very similar to the 5C HD, but just a tad bit smaller since it does have a 4.7 inch display compared to the 5 inch display on the 5C HD. But if we put that off to the side for a moment, underneath we will first find the white protective case that Blue has included with the phone. I really like the idea of phone manufacturers including cases with their devices, I could really get used to that. But next we will find the US wall wart with a USB port on one end used to charge the device. And then we'll find the micro USB charging cable itself with its standard rounded cable, unlike its brethren, the 5C HD which has a flat tangle free design. Now next to those two items are a pair of headphones with controls that allow you to answer phone calls, so that's always nice to have. But next to that we'll find a rather good sized battery pack that goes inside the Studio C Mini. Remember this isn't a backup, it's just in here separately so we'll have to install it ourselves here in a moment. But then finally the last item in the box is the Blue Studio C Mini instructions and setup guide so that you can set this phone up with no problems at all. It's very standard and boring, but can be very important if you need help. Okay, so we've made it through all that. Now we can take an up close look at the Studio C Mini and take off the outer plastic to unveil the much toned down and casual budget smartphone, the Studio C Mini. And so if we take a look around the device, we'll see that it has your standard power sleep on off button and volume controls on the right hand side with nothing on the left hand side. Up top we'll find the micro USB charging port and 3.5mm headphone jack with a microphone on the bottom and that is it. On the front of the device we'll find a VGA front facing camera and then capacitive touch buttons for the menu, home, and back commands. Now if you flip the device over to its back we'll see there is a 5 megapixel rear facing camera and blue branding on top of that subtle white plastic back cover with a little speaker port down below that. And that's really it, I mean it's a very basic phone but you get some pretty decent specs considering this entire package costs just 120 bucks. So before we power it on, we need to pop off the back cover to insert the battery pack. And this is where you'll find the slots for the two SIM cards since this phone is dual SIM compatible. And there's also a slot for the micro SD card slot to the right of all that. And so once again, 120 bucks gets you all of this. So it's certainly not a bad deal. And to further reinforce how sweet of a package it is, if you turn this device on and navigate through it, we'll see it's fairly snappy and fluid. I mean, I'm a huge fan of stock Android because it can make just about any device feel fast, and it does just that with this budget-friendly smartphone. So if you haven't watched my other unboxing and first look at the next step up from this phone, that being the Blue 5C HD smartphone, go ahead and go watch it and let me know what you think of the two smartphones and whether or not you think the extra $30 is worth it for the 5C HD. But with that said, I'm BoHD from Phone Dog. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.